Hey guys, you better Glasgow here. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be on how I think uh, we have uh, John Cena versus Roman Reigns at New Mercy needs to end. Um, so as well, we well know John Cena will be taking a leave of absence from the WWE after New Mercy. He's going to go start filming on the spinoff for Transformers Bumblebee, and we also know it's planned through leaks that most likely Roman Reigns is going to beat John Cena. Why? I have no fucking clue. It must be for to make him look tough or something. Big fucking deal. Okay, and let's see. Keeping track of the current track record. If they keep up the way creative is after the last Reigns victory, they're not going to do jack shit with this victory to help Roman Reigns. So, we're going to see how I would book this and see how we use the ending of this match. To set up future events. And let's see if WWE can do it better than I can. Alright. So. What we have is we basically leave the match however it's going to be set up right now. Okay. Because we, the promos have been very good. Between John Cena and Roman Reigns. Thanks mostly to John Cena's mic work. He's got way better mic work than Roman Reigns. Been saying this for a while now. That guy needs to learn how to do some fucking mic work. And so, we're basically going to leave it as is. So, what we do is about three quarters of the way through the match as it goes on, we have Vince McMahon come down to the ring and start walking around and start <laughs> talking. He, he's pissed. Okay, he looks very mad. And he looks at Reigns as Reigns gets breaks and he fuck. And we even hear him holler at Reigns. What the hell is taking you so long to get um, over him? And, um, <laughs> so we know they're in cahoots, which is no big, you know, it's no big surprise. And then we could also have, um, Cena have Ray in the corner to give him some chops. Have Cena look down at, uh, uh Vince McMahon and say, What's wrong, Vince? I thought this was your new boy. And just, you know, just so we can sow a little dissension de between, uh, John Cena and Roman Reigns. I mean, excuse me, Vince McMahon. So, as the match comes to a close, we have uh, Roman Reigns, <clears throat> third John Cena, outside the ring. And now we have Roman Reigns and Vince McMahon start to distract the referee. And while the referee is distracted, who do we have come down to the ring but the entire Mistourage? Um, the Miz, Bo Dallas, and Axel. And they all beat the shit. Out of um, John Cena. Every time John Cena tries to make a quick move back, another pounces on him. They throw him into the steel post. They hit him with the icy title. They stomp him, hit him. And of course, while this is all happening, this happens for just you know a real short amount of time, like just no more than two minutes. And every time the ref tries to turn around and go look at um, John Cena, either Roman Reigns or Vince McMahon pull. The referee back and keep them distracted. Now, finally with the damage done, the Ministerage rolls John Cena back into the ring. Um, Roman Reigns finishes off John Cena, gets the victory. And then him and Vince McMahon celebrate the win in the middle of the ring. Clearly making Roman Reigns a corporate heel. Now they don't stay long. They get out of the ring. And then the Ministerage enters the ring, surrounds Cena, and finish the job. They stomp him, hit him with chairs, anything they can get their fucking hands on. Each does one of their own finishers. And then finally, Marais comes in the ring with a mic and tells John Cena, John, tell that little bitch of yours I said hello. And that once again, I'm ahead of her in the game of life, pointing to her pregnant belly. You know, and the Miz puts his foot on John Cena, and all of the Miz stars raise their hands in victory. And that's how we end that match. Next night on Raw, we kayfabe that John Cena has been injured, so this 
So this allows him to go film his movie. Um, we then put in place the Miz story arc that I have, <clears throat> along with um, Miz versus Cena story arc. And then we start to show Roman Reigns as the corporate heel. Now, the reason for this version of Roman Reigns is that it's pretty much the only fucking way he's going to get over as a heel. Um, creative has totally fucked him over <clears throat> by not being sure to make him fucking heel, make him baby face, or how to fucking do it. So this is pretty much, <clears throat> in order for him to be heel, this is pretty much the best he's got. got. This is how he's going to have to run. So, and everyone knows how WrestleMania 34's main event's going to go. You're going to have Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar with Roman Reigns winning the title. It's been leaked. That's the way they've been playing it for almost the entire year up to WrestleMania. That's what's going to happen. Let's play on this. So, we're going to show that Roman Reigns can be one hell of a corporate heel. With Vince McMahon. And Vince McMahon is going to help cover up for the flaw Roman Reigns has. His mic work. Roman Reigns can have good mic work if he's got good direction. But if, as we've seen, if it's live Johnny on the spot, he has a hard time doing it. If you record it, he's okay. <clears throat> so, and then with the backing of Vince McMahon... You can set up a lot of stories all the way up to WrestleMania. Because you're going to have to fill a shit ton of story with Roman Reigns. To keep him not from seeing Brock Lesnar into WrestleMania. And I don't think they're going to do it very well. But at least this way you got a shot. Um, so. And besides creative can't do shit with Roman Reigns. So. They're going to drive my way. So. That's another reason why I didn't have him stay long. Is because there's going to be plenty of time to fucking work up here for, for Roman Reigns. And so, this way when um, Roman Reigns defeats Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Those views will be warranted because he's basically developed the heat of being a heel associated with Vince McMahon. Because we got to admit, Vince McMahon is one hell of a heel. Um, because you're going to get booze during the match, there's no fucking way it's about it. People are going to know how it's going to run, Lesnar's not going to renew his contract. If he gets back to UFC, if he clears, which looks like he's going to. So let's warrant those fucking booze. We're going to, be, <laughs> we're going to make them count. Um, plus, stay tuned because I'm going to because I'm going to do some more videos about Roman Reigns being a heel, leading up to WrestleMania 34. Making 34 the, ma the main event even more interesting. And, of course, I also have The Miz versus John Cena coming up. And, okay, so now what does this ending uh, do that I just did? Well, it is, um, it sets up five good things. It allows um, a good reason for John Cena to be away for filming. It allows Roman Reigns to finally work a good heel direction. Um, it brings back ghosts from John Cena's past that he will have to deal with when he comes back. So this doesn't get a clean break like he did at WrestleMania. This also propels The Miz and The Miz Raj up a notch. And so they can start their gold runs. It also sets up a good platform for Nikki Bella um, to step onto should she return to wrestling. So count up, that's Five things this inning says up for in the near immediate future, plus more as the stories continue through other shows and other pay-per-views, and all this accumulates up to WrestleMania 34, and making WrestleMania 34 mean a hell of a lot more than just matches, because matches mean more when they have a purpose. Okay, what do you think? That's how I plan, would plan uh, the, the uh, John Cena versus um, Roman Reigns at No Mercy. Let's see if WWE does it better. When it happens, come back and let me know what you think. Alright, you know the deal. Um, go down, like, dislike, and subscribe. As always, you guys take care, and I will see you all next time.